Every vendor needs to have reviews. Do not book someone without reviews. Hey guys, welcome to Wedding Tips by Joe. My name is Joe, I'm the creative director for Orange Flow, and today we're finishing our series on five things that you should look for for every single vendor that you book, and we're talking about reviews. In my experience, the vast majority of vendors that have a legitimate registered business are gonna be listed on Google. So Google is a great place to start looking for reviews. You can also check out Facebook. Facebook recently changed their review system to now it's just recommendations, and it basically just asks you, do you recommend this person, yes or no? They're gonna have to be logged in with their account for either platform so you can make sure these people are actually real humans when it comes to the knot and wedding wire they're actually the same business now so anyone who's listed on one platform will be on the other those are great places to find reviews so the problem is not every vendor is on the knot or wedding wire it's not a red flag if a vendor is not listed you may not know this but it's actually insanely expensive to list on the knot and wedding wire it costs thousands and thousands of dollars every single year so if someone is listed on there very legitimate I would say I'd be very shocked if a scammer was paying the money to be on the knot or wedding wire. Another really common place to find reviews is on someone's website. However, the majority of website reviews are not verifiable. <laughs> Um, many websites don't have like a built-in review system. So what many vendors do, including myself, is when I have a client leave me a review on Facebook or they text me, I just copy and paste their words and put them on my website as a review. So I would encourage you don't solely rely on reviews posted on a website because they were most likely posted by the vendor themselves. It doesn't mean anything sketchy is going on, but if you only see reviews on a website, no social media, uh, Google, no Yelp, nothing else, I would be a little concerned. In general, when you're looking at reviews, there's two ways that you're gonna want to sort the reviews. Number one, most recent. It's really great that they got a glowing review seven years ago. Doesn't necessarily help you right now. Sort by most recent and then sort by lowest rated. Every single vendor, if you're in the business long enough, you're going to get a bad review. Nobody's perfect. You can't please everyone. Some clients are just difficult. Things are gonna happen. You're gonna get bad reviews. There's a photographer I worked with a few months ago. They have like 200 five-star reviews on Google and then like five one-star reviews, all right? so like literally no one is perfect things to pay attention to with those low starred reviews whatever platform they're on does the vendor reply how do they reply what do they say and also if there's negative reviews that are concerning to you ask the vendor about it and if you see several bad reviews that are all talking about similar things happening that's cause for alarm try to get in contact with the people who left those reviews and see what their story is all right guys that's all we got for today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time